doing my random Q&A vlog. I asked you guys on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook to ask me questions which were random and silly, which weren't related to YouTube, to beauty, to makeup. A lot of you still those did ask those sort of questions but I'm gonna leave them for my normal Q&A. This video is gonna be all about some random and funny questions which you guys asked me and I'm gonna go through all of them, try to answer all of them. I might not be able to answer all of them because last time when I answered like all of the questions the video became really long and you know you guys were like you should do different parts or something of that sort so I'm just gonna answer some of the questions which are really interesting and intriguing so yes we're gonna go ahead with that. I'm gonna start off with Instagram questions. The first question is by SW8A underscore S. I'm sorry if I mispronounce any name. I don't mean to and I hate it when I do that but that's gonna be it for this video. So yes, uh, SW, SW8A underscore S asked me, do you wear socks to sleep? Well, I can't even wear socks in winter. So to sleep is like, what? I feel really um, gluten sort of. What do you say gluten in English? Suffocated. I feel really suffocated whenever I wear socks. So even in winters, I'm most of the time barefoot. So nope, I don't wear socks to sleep. Shristi underscore Mani asks me which question you hate answering every time and I love you Shreya. I love you too Shristi. The one question I hate answering every time is whenever I post a photo of something and people ask me how can you buy so much of makeup. It's like what? You know? I hate answering how I earn, what I earn, what my parents do, what I do, how can I afford this much and everything of that sort. I hate answering those questions. Underscore pure underscore evil asks me a makeup fashion trend you absolutely hate. I hate bell bottom jeans. Even when they were in like real vogue back in 2006, I used to hate them. I never wore bell bottoms and I hate, hate, hate them. I'm never gonna wear them. You're not gonna see me dead in them. Yes, never, ever, ever. Piafi asks me, how do you like your coffee? Strong, real strong. Priyanshi Gupta uh, dot zero one asks me, define happiness. Happiness is being content with who you are, with whom you are and where you are. That's happiness for me. Kajal Tahan asks, what do you think while shopping? I need to get this. That's what I think while shopping. That's why I end up buying so much. Nusrat underscore Jahan underscore asked me who is your favorite Bollywood actor female and male for male I think uh, as of now I'd go with Varun Dhawan and Ritik Roshan they're really hot and for female I really like Priyanka Chopra and even Deepika Padukone for that matter and Nusrat again asked me if you could live anywhere in the world where would you like to live I really 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 li like to live in London I really like uh, the you know old world charm which London still has in it so yes, I really like to live there. Otherwise, I love Delhi. I, okay, I was about to drop my phone and my ninja skills helped me not dropping it. Otherwise, I love Delhi. I would, you know, be happily settled in Delhi or in London. Nowhere else, I think. I think these two are the only places where I would be living happily. Vishali underscore 19 asked me, what would you do if all of our makeup products vanishes and the whole world is without makeup? I'd find a new hobby because, you know, uh, I love makeup, no doubt, but it's not like my life. Maybe it is, but then again, you know, you can adapt to different situations. That were what human beings are famous for adapting. Arshi underscore XOXO asked me, will you marry my brother so that I can have a wonderful person as my bhabi? Uh, well, Arshi, uh, your parents will have to talk to my parents and your brother has to talk to me for that. So, yes, let's see how that goes, but who knows? <laughs> The cute Cancerian asks, uh, Shreya Jain, how do you manage to look so beautiful all the time? Thanks for the compliment and B, you should look at me when I just wake up in the morning with a bun right here and my eyes all puffy and everything. That's not really a pretty sight. Like even for me, I can get scared by looking at myself in the mirror. Not a pretty sight. Arshna underscore S asks, I totally love you and Komal, so let us know one thing that you love about Komal and one thing about Komal which you don't really like. What? Are you trying to break our friendship right here? <laughs> like, really? On camera? Mm -hmm. But yes, I know Komal, she's pretty chill so she won't mind anything. Uh, one thing which I really like about her that she's pretty honest and pretty frank about what she feels and how she feels. She doesn't like cover up her emotions and anything of that sort. She's totally like if she likes you you would know it and if you if she doesn't like you you would still know it so it's all pretty clear with her and one thing which i don't like about komal hmm let me think what i don't like about her i don't like the 
fact that she has like a really amazing closet and I want that. So I'm gonna steal it one day. Komal, if you're seeing this, I'm gonna take away your closet. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. But yes, I don't like that fact about you. You have an amazing closet. Snigda Ginna asked, uh, if there was one superpower that you could own, what would that be? Uh, super shopping skills, like best deals, best places, best timing and everything. I'd really, really, really want that. Like. That's gonna make my life so much more easier. And also, the superpower of traveling anywhere, anytime that I want, without having to like book a plane, book, book a rail, wow, book a train, wow, rail, rail, wow, book a train, or you know, just drive or anything. Like, I could travel, like, teleport like this. I really like that teleport thingy because I hate, like, I love uh, going. To everywhere but I hate the traveling part of it like those two hours or five hours on the plane those are a headache so I'd like to like to teleport everywhere that would be really really nice glitters underscore asked me how many pillows do you need while sleeping I use only one pillow but that's like a jumbo pillow that's the one like behind me don't mind the package I just shot a haul video so that's that's why it's there but any one of those two I just use them under my head while sleeping so yes that's the amount of pillows I need Divya underscore PA asks me which is your most memorable moment of yours with your friends in your college and what pranks do you play with your friends to have fun and how do you pass your time when you're extremely bored and I have so many questions to ask love you I love you too so uh, most memorable moment of yours with your friends in your college um, well 90% of those moments can't be told on camera because my mom watches my videos so you know they were real fun when you can't tell your mom about that and uh, pranks I don't play any sort of pranks now these days I was a prank person but back in 8th standard that was like 2008 me now I'm not a prank sort of a person no and I don't like when people play pranks on me as well so nada and how do I pass my time when I'm bored uh, I uh, I don't get bored easily because I have so much to do so much on my hand but uh, generally I like to just go through online shopping portals and see good discounts I don't end up buying most of the times but then again I buy a lot of times so that's how I pass my time and Veshika so 28 asked me if you were given a chance to be invisible for a day what would be the first thing you would do if I was invisible the first thing I would do is go to a celeb's house you know you, like i said either varun Thavan or ritik roshan i would really 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 like to see them up close and personal without looking like a creepy stalker or anything so invisibility would really help me in that shikha and Singh again asked me uh, something special you did for your parents you can answer specifically for your mom and your dad so I really like uh, doing something special for my mom and my dad, especially on their anniversaries. So I've been doing that, those sort of things for the past three years, ever since I started earning and everything. So uh, in 2012, on their anniversary, I got them like silver bands made, matching bands. So that was really special. Then uh, the next year, that was 2014, no, 2013, I um, sent them to like a spa day with jacuzzi and all those amazing things. And last year I sent them on a holiday like a one day like two day like two day one night getaway to a fort palace where they could enjoy and you know I got them a room and everything so they were really comfortable and everything so I, that's something I feel that was I especially did for my parents and this year on my mom's birthday I gifted her a diamond pendant so from my earning so that was uh, something special that I did for my parents Preeti underscore Matai asked me best dish you ever made by yourself and your mom and dad two liked it a lot except Maggie well Preeti my mom and dad both don't eat Maggie because it has like onion and those sort of things so yes Maggie is already out of option one thing that I made and was really liked by my mom and dad was um, ajwain beans like beans and I like stir fried them in ajwain and they really loved it and then they love my baked potatoes like achari, uh, uh, achari potatoes they really like that and they like my cupcakes a lot and my cakes a lot I really like to cook and bake and those were the little things that they really like cute bunny baby asked me when will you do a meetup in Mumbai already did one it was really so good loved meeting all of you like 50 of uh, SG fam members turned up there and it was like Wow, like it was wow. So yes, already did a meet up in Mumbai. Pooja underscore 2309 asks me, most awkward moment or situation you faced? 
um i faced many but uh, most awkward i got locked in a washroom once so i had to like really bang the door to get out and once i got out i was all in tears because i got scared in my defense i was 5 years old so yes that was the most uh, awkward and embarrassing situation i faced and whenever i still think about it i go like so yes uh, that would be it so you know zoya ali asks me what things would you do if you were a guy for a day i would roam around shirtless in my boxers in the comfort of my own skin yes miloni goser asked me one of the craziest things you've have ever bought be it makeup or anything else um i actually bought like a fake dog which breeds due to cells and everything and then i scared everyone with it and everyone was like whoa because my family uh, like many of my family members are scared by dogs so they were all like whoa what is this keep it away so yeah i did that so yes that's the craziest thing i think i bought because other than that i i haven't bought like any crazy thing so i would count that Alicia underscore Sa asked me your thoughts on pajamas only world. Like you sleep in your jammies, eat in it, go to bloggers event wearing it, you wear it to office. I mean, living your life in PJs. Do I need to say more? You go jammies. I love pajamas. Love them. They're like the comfiest thing ever. And if there's a world like that, I want the citizenship there. Mm hmm. Really. Underscore Shru who asks me, you want a baby girl first or baby boy first? Whoa, where did this come from? I'm not even married. I'm still a kid myself. I don't know if I want a baby girl or a baby boy first. Although preferred baby girl, but wow, this is really weird. Anjana Gurung asks me, what was your most favorite subject and least favorite subject at school? Uh, most favorite was uh, sociology. and least favorite and also mass media i used to love sociology and mass media and least favorite maths i used to hate maths pooja sharma 21 asked me call your mom and tell her that you're pregnant you're going to get me killed lady like for real you're going to get me killed this is not going to happen no nope. my mom is already going to know because the camera is set up she knows i'm filming right now so not going to happen even when she watches this and i'll be like i'm pregnant she's going to be like The random book asks me I dare to choose between one coffee or nutella I hate you I hate you so much Uh This is so bad I think I'll go with coffee coffee Yes Shivani underscore Tanija thirteen asked me, "What's your favorite childhood memory?" Well, my favorite childhood memory would be whenever my mom used to scold me. I used to go to my nani, just hide behind her, and used to say that, "Nani, mama, dad, you put all on like a real drama queen." And my mom used to start laughing by the way I was acting, and my nani used to scold my mom like, "Why are you so dramatic? Why are you so crazy?" That was my favorite childhood memory. I still remember that those times, and it's like the best time ever. Moving on to Facebook. Akriti Sharma asked me number of tooth fillings you have. As of now, zero. Touch wood. Touch wood. As a child, my teeth were so cavity prone. I had like three or four cavities, and I used to hate going to the dentist. So, as a child, I used to like neglect my tooth care so much. So yes, as of now, zero. Shraddha Rora asked, how do you let go of the little things that can spoil your mood? Um. I see the good picture, the larger picture in life. Whenever I have a bad mood regarding something, I just say to myself, "The good will come when it has to come." That's the mantra that I try to live by, and that's how I try to be happy. Gagneet Kaur asked me, "Who takes your photographs? Do you have any professional photographer?" I don't have any professional photographer. My photographer is either my mom or my friend. That is it. I do not have any professional photographer. I don't have a manager. I don't have a PR anything person. I am what I am all by myself. All by myself. I don't want to be like I'm fine being all by myself, but just had to sing the song. Rishita Datta asked me, "What do you do when you feel silly, crazy? What is the silliest thing you've ever done?" Uh well, 
uh, I'm a very impromptu person so I don't plan out things a lot of times my crazy silly things happen because I'm feeling those things the craziest or silliest thing I would say that I've done is uh, if any of you remember that Bonita song Epam Opam Japam what used to what I used to do was it uh, throughout the monsoons whenever it used to rain me and my brother we used to go out in our garden and there used to be puddles so you know just like before the puddle we used to stand there swirl our ways Epam Opam and then when Japam used to come we used to just jump in the puddle and that was really silly and these days what uh, I like to do is that whenever it's raining uh, I just drive through really fast through a waterlogged area like puddle area so that water splashes everywhere so I probably say that monsoons bring out the crazy silly me Divya Gardani asked me what is the one quality you're looking for a guy or if a guy wanna woo SJ what should he do well I really appreciate honesty a lot of many times guys uh, tell all sorts of lies just to woo a girl and that is one thing I hate I really really appreciate honesty and that is what I would look in my partner Devi Brijendra Rai asked me what you will do if a girl propose you in front of your mom and dad well I'd be flattered and while my parents would laugh their heads off I'd be like you know I like you but not in that way Ritu Yadav asked me describe your perfect date. Well, my perfect date would be on a cool, breezy evening on a beach, and you know, have a tent up there, candles everywhere, scented, nice scented candles, a nice dinner with the guy I love, with the love of my life, basically. That would be my perfect date. Arpita Padadar asked me one thing that can irritate you very quickly. Well, I get irritated by nosy people who like to poke uh, in everyone's business, poke their nose in everyone's business. They irritate me really, really quickly. Anamika Sanavane asks, so my question is how many siblings do you have and name them and do a quick room tour. Love you so much. Well, I just have one elder brother. His name is Aditya and room tour. This is my room. That's my bed. That's my TV right there. That's my old Almira which I need to change, I know. And then there's my door, my plain wall, my vanity, another wall and sofa, a storeroom, curtains and more cabinets. And then there's me. Hi! Pabneet Kaur asks, have you friend zone as someone? Yes, I have. And number two, what would be your reaction if you found that you are friend zoned by a crush? Well, I've been there, so I know how would I feel. I felt heartbroken. I felt like my love life would never exist. But that doesn't really happen. I feel like crush is an infatuation. It's a phase. You grow over it. So, yes, stay strong. Hang in there, girl. It's gonna get better. And as they say, the longer you wait, the better you date. Nazaima Khan asked me, who was your first crush? I mean, actor, do you watch any TV serials? Hrithik Roshan was my first like actor crush and as for TV serials, uh, currently I'm watching just two shows. I'm not a TV person, like I watch sitcoms on my laptop and I watch Dexter, Bing Bang Theory, I watch Game of Thrones, a lot of those but I'm gonna answer Indian shows. Currently I'm watching Man Marziya and uh, Tere Shahar Mein. Those are the only two shows that I watch. Twitter, I think there's like only one question, so I'll just quickly answer that. Uh, Nasreen Farhat asked me, do you take the shampoo, conditioner and soaps with you from the hotels you stay in? Yep, I do. I'm paying for them, so why not? I do take them with me. So I think with that, I finish my Q&A random silly question video. I know I didn't answer all of the questions, but I answered some fun ones and I would be doing more in the future. So don't worry about those which I didn't answer because those were more related to makeup and everything. And I wanted this to be a particularly random sort of a video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. And also, if there are any questions you want me to answer particularly, you can ask me on my social media. All my social media would be in the bottom bar along with an address where you can send me letters and things. And I will see you guys definitely tomorrow. Till then, take care. Bye.